Today I'm walking the docks at Swimming Hall of Fame in Fort Lauderdale, Florida to check out a boat that has it all. From an oversized flybridge to a flawless interior, this Azimuth 66 is the full package. She's stabilized with a Sea Keeper 16, has four spacious staterooms, and entertaining areas galore. I'm Bobby Giancola with Denison Yachting, and welcome aboard my latest listing, Liquid Asset. The yin and yang of this boat is on the interior. You can slow down, enjoy the luxury. And on the other side, as you can see here on the stern, it's all about the fun. Here on the swim platform, you have one of the top of the line sea dews 230 horsepower. Anything that has to do with tow sports, this is your vehicle right here. Here towards the starboard side, you'll find your crew entrance. Typically this space is good for storage, but it's good to know that you have two beds and a wet head. One of my favorite areas on this boat, just two steps up from the swim platform, is the cockpit. Azimuth has done such a great job going from the 62, the 64, now the 66, in having this space utilized for entertainment. We have this oversized U-shaped seating area with plenty of storage underneath. I really like this table. It looks like marble, but it's actually a synthetic material. It's actually more expensive than marble, but it doesn't stain like marble does, and it always looks presentable. The teak on this boat is beautifully maintained, found here in the cockpit underfoot, also wrap around the side decks to the bow and up on the flybridge. Here you'll find your access to your engine room, find a pair of Caterpillar C18 engines that are 1150 horsepower, as well as a 21 kilowatt Kohler generator. In addition to the wraparound side decks on the 66, there are also port and starboard entry gates. When looking at the profile of this boat, specifically the bow, you'll notice that the shape is a trapezoid. It allows for more space in the VIP, which we'll go over later. The second benefit of this trapezoid design is the working area found here on the bow. There's a lot of space to access your ground tackle, your anchor locker, then also you have a great stainless safety rail surrounding the area. The third benefit of the trapezoid design You'll probably find most beneficial here in this space. It reduces the risk of sea spray and, and getting wet. In addition to a very beamy sun pad, just after that you'll find U-shaped seating area that is also equipped with a clamshell covering in case you want some shade or some wind coverage. Great little table here to have refreshments and enjoy your friends and family. From here, we're gonna check out the most dynamic space on this boat, the flybridge. This right here is the reason you buy a boat, and that's with all the space up here, over 300 square feet, four areas of seating, an amazing spot to dine al fresco, under the stars, or in the shade. The reason this area is so versatile is because of the design of having the carbon fiber elements to be able to come back this far aft and providing this additional seating area. Like we saw down below in all the exterior spaces, the same synthetic material is up here on the flybridge table. Again, great entertaining area. You've got your speakers for your sound system, camera for security. To port, you'll find your summer galley with pop-up faucet, Kenyan electric grill. And what I love about this grill is that if you forget to turn it off, when you close the lid, there's a kill switch here that will shut off the power. Below is a fridge and an ice maker. Something that speaks to how well this boat has been taken care of is the condition of the Isinglass here. They're great for any foul weather situation, or if you want more airflow up here, you can simply remove them. Now that we've had our fun all day outside, it's time to relax in the split level salon where luxury is seen all throughout the fit and finish. To port, you'll first see a large L-shaped seating area that will look over to starboard for your TV. Then you've got your designated area for your glassware and plates, storage found underneath there. Another thing Asimut has done very well is instead of having the spotlights overhead, here they've done long LED lights, and especially at night when you're enjoying dinner here at the table, it's not so blinding. It diffuses the light very nicely, and it's easy on the eyes. Think about this, what other 66-foot boat do you find three full-size dining tables? Here in the salon, one out in the cockpit and one on the flybridge. Each table can fit all of your guests comfortably, no matter where you're at on the boat. Adjacent to your dining table, you have your open layout galley, where you'll find a fridge, two freezers, plenty of storage all throughout, 
you'll cook your meals with a four burner Miele induction stovetop, and below that, your combination oven and microwave. Next up, I gotta show you the takeout window. Here, you've got a pair of bar stools, a bar top that pulls out, and what I love is that if you have guests on the bow, you can get drinks and serve them this way instead of bringing them to the entire salon, hence the takeout window. This boat has two helms, one on the flybridge, and here's your primary. She's coupled with the Premier Raymarine package. She has a Sea Keeper 16, bow and stern thruster, your zip weight controls, traditional throttles, and your joystick. Making docking easier than ever, a recent upgrade, they added a yacht controller, which you can control from anywhere on the boat. And if you're not using the yacht controller, there's also another window here to where you can communicate with the crew while you're getting the boat in and out of the slip. Located right next to the helm, this staircase leads down to your four staterooms, which is something you rarely find on a 66-foot boat. The owner suite takes up the full beam of the boat, and Azimut, again, did something so well with utilizing every space possible with storage. You've got a full standing closet here and your pop-up TV. Over to port, you'll find an island berth, which is just below a whole side window. Rounding out the owner suite, we have the ensuite, and Azimut specifically designed this in a way that when the door is closed, you have space in between the bulkhead of the engine room and here, which diffuses the sound, making it much quieter in here while underway. One step out of the owner suite, you'll find your washer and dryer, and just beyond on the landing, access to stateroom number two. Directly across the hall is stateroom number two with side-by-side -side twins. In addition to natural sunlight coming in from large windows, you have a TV and a full standing closet. The ensuite has a Jack and Jill entrance and doubles as a day head. Our final stateroom, the VIP, you'll find what I mentioned earlier, it furthers the bulkhead, allowing more space here in the VIP. Great size windows, allowing for natural sunlight to come in, a TV, and two closets, port to starboard. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this walkthrough of my 2020 Azimut 66. There are so many nuances and details that I could have made this walkthrough video over an hour, and I would love to share them with you. So if you're interested, please reach out to me anytime at my contact information. My name is Bobby Giancola with Dennison Yachting. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.